Okay, down back one more time. Okay, so let me get on. Well, I'll just get on the. Yeah, get on four in the desktop. Okay, now I forgot to look at or show this. Uh, I. Uh, in between the last recording, I've been uh, playing around with the input level C. Normally, I've always been able to just keep it right there, uh, put that that right side of that right up to the hundred. And uh, luckily, with uh, LSA Audio and, and Fedora Linux, it will stay most all the time. It will stay where you leave it. Uh, it's not always fighting you and trying to auto adjust like Windows does. Windows will run your audio. You get it too low or get it up high and distort it. Uh, and it's, even if you try to turn that auto adjust off, it'll turn back on and do it. So, anyway, uh, <clears throat> I figure, oh, so now I've got it uh, a little gain, just a little bit more than it was. It was more about here, there. Uh, I went up a little higher. And just, well, I started out by going right up there where I, I used to always keep it. And it, just, it was, one, the one problem, okay, so when you're going, Going through a compressor, if your signal's not hot enough coming into the compressor, it'll cut you off. Or just in my case, right, it's it's not cutting me clipping my words like they'll do sometimes, but it's it's cutting down the volume enough that uh, uh, that you know when I talk low, the S and fifty eight can understand. So you can hear me, but you can't understand what I'm saying. And so, but now before I was just past Unity. That's well. I'm not going to explain that. Uh, so now I'm just back back off of Unity a little bit, a couple of mark or two on this thing. And uh, the signal looked, and that, that ended up making, because uh, this uh, audio cam 3 down here is quite a bit quieter, even though I gained it. 50 to, it was on 10 decibels gain, I gained it to 15 decibels. <laughs> and I didn't want to keep on gaining it because I don't want to get that thing distorted. So, uh, Ah. <clears throat> so anyway, let's turn them on together. Sometimes that helps. Sometimes that helps. Check check turn them on two. together. Check one, two. And the other one's behind. Oh, the and the other one's behind. behind. Oh, the cam three is behind the S and fifty. And I added. Delay. And I added. Um, I, I, um, well, it has in there. Um, well, it has in there. I knew there was something in there. I knew there was something in there about the audio delay. I thought it was just a delay to delay the audio when it's ahead of the video. Generally, the problem is. Generally, the problem is usually that the audio is behind but the it video. Actually said, uh, but it actually video said uh, video so, delay. So uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't both know. Of these on, of course, with both of these on, let's go ahead and mute this one because it just drives you crazy trying to listen to it. Um, I actually did see an improvement. Check. Check. But you could tell a while ago, you know, it's behind the S and 58. And uh, I went all the way from 10 uh, milliseconds delay all the way up to 100. And, and it's right, I forget where it's, I left it, 30, 40, 50. It, it, that's the close, it, that was the quickest I could see that line coming up uh, when I would say something. Like if I do, it's still a delay, but that's the quickest I've seen it come up. So um, hopefully in the record, well, I, I was trying to pay attention, but I was mostly listening to the quality of the sound. But uh, it is delayed, but I think it's a little less than it was. And that's the Cam 3 going over Wi-Fi. Now, there's, with this uh, Bluetooth, let's go ahead and switch over. Now. Okay, now back on the SM58. Now with the Bluetooth mic, I can't do that. Because, check one, two... Probably too much now. The way since I've gained that, check one, two. That's about the same. It seems it check one, two. It seems looking at the meter that uh, the SM58 and the lapel mics need to be the same gain, but when in pra actual practice, when you do it, you listen back to your recording, it seems like the, these are more sensitive and they uh, they'll distort quicker. You know, they'll be louder. You want them, I'm trying, you want to all, if you're using different mics, you want to have them as close to the same volume as you can, so when you switch, it doesn't, you know, freak out the listener or aggravate them. Check one, two. 
<coughs> and then when I'll go down. <coughs> That went into the red. Check, check. I, for, I usually forget to put my head down when I'm moving around. I'm always, you know, when I'm doing stuff, I'm always putting my head down. So, but that's on the Bluetooth mic, and it is quite delayed. Let's wait. Yeah, you just almost can count one, two. You know, let's do that. Let's try counting. count to two if you kind of that, that's probably like my delay was probably closer to a half of a second if anything a second I don't know try it try it. hey let's do it this way one one thousand it's about a second I mean not a second about a whole second yeah if you say one one thousand I think that's a second that's a lot of delay <laughs> anyway uh, I can't even, you know, I can, the, the settings I'm talking about, uh, you know, the uh, video delay and stuff is in OBS Studio. Well, if I do that to the mixer, the, the mic aux, that's, that's, you know, on the S and 58 is good. That would mess everything up. Now, then my, then my audio would be ahead of the video. Uh, if and it, if I was to change it as much as it looks like it's off, try to fix it with the uh, Bluetooth, then uh, it would ruin the S and 58. I try to just use the Bluetooth when I'm not showing my my, my face, you know, and then you don't notice it then. So. But uh, let's see what this turns out to be like. Uh, get my scope again. Make sure it hasn't stopped working. 